Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. A 37-year-old bicyclist killed after being hit by a truck in Mount Morris Township last night. Police say officers were dispatched to the area of Pearson and Eastman shortly after 7. They say Cameron Kelly Wymore had been riding his bike east on Pearson when the truck, also driving east, struck him. Police say Wymore was later pronounced dead. We now know what started a fire at the Saginaw Arts and Sciences Academy this past weekend. Saginaw Public Schools says the fire was caused by the careless disposal of sawdust by a flooring contractor who was sanding the floors. Even though the fire didn't get inside the building, several spots were impacted by smoke and soot. The school is expected to reopen Monday, December 2nd. That will allow ServPro to finish its work. Students will continue with online learning through Tuesday, November 26th. Central Michigan University's head football coach Jim McElwain will retire at the end of the season. The announcement comes a day after the team's win over rival Western Michigan University. After four decades on the sidelines and six seasons leading the Chippewas, McElwain will start his new position as special assistant to the athletic director. CMU says a national search to find his successor is underway. Now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Meg, rain is moving through the area right now. However, we are starting to see at least a few areas getting set to change over to snow or at the very least starting to mix with some of the rain. We expect that process to continue as the night goes along. Now as far as your sky tracker goes, we've got the area of low pressure itself on the western side of Lake Erie. That is going to lift off to the north as we go through tonight and then circle around the area and go towards Chicago as we go through tomorrow. What that's going to do as we go through tonight is allow colder air to wrap around that system and eventually change over some of these showers on the west side of the state to snow showers in our neck of the woods tonight. Now, some of the heavier snowfall rates, those are going to go to the north of us tonight if everything follows the latest trends that we've been seeing over the last 24 hours or so. Why is that important? Well, to overcome the warm ground temperatures we've been talking the last couple of days that we need the heavier rates to overcome that. Well, if that moves out of our area, well, then all of a sudden what was an uphill battle already just became even harder here locally. So our northern counties where we had maybe the best chance to pick up at least a couple of inches of snow, that may not be quite as likely. And the fact that we haven't had any winter weather advisories issued, I think that speaks to the lack of impacts that even the National Weather Service expects from this system. But we still will see some flakes around the area tonight. I think we'll see some scattered snow showers right through tomorrow morning. And then with the area of low pressure itself going to the west of us, that is going to take most of the consistent precipitation to the west as well. So I think we'll see some scattered showers tomorrow, but nothing that's going to be around all day long. Now, as far as the snow predictor goes, try to pay more attention to some of the shading. I think this does a really good job with the shading on showing you where the best chance of accumulation will be. Even though it's not painting much in our northern counties, which I do think is a realistic scenario, you're still close enough. You can sort of see it at the top of your screen. You're still close enough to some of those heavier snowfall rates if things shift back to the south, even just a touch. So again, I think some accumulations are possible around the area tonight just not a ton of them. Your forecast as we take a look at low temperatures will be in the 30s tonight as we get closer to tomorrow morning. Most of us will stay above freezing, so I do think that helps us out on some area roads. Our temperatures should stay mostly in the mid 40s for the rest of the week and the weekend. And as we go into early next week, we'll see the chance for rain return Monday and Tuesday. We drop down to the 30s on Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.